It's December 2025, and NVIDIA is no longer the only name lighting up Wall Street. Three new AI titans are stealing the show. One of them has already rocketed roughly 360% since January 2023. Over the next seven minutes, you'll see exactly how Microsoft, AMD, and a former spy tech wildcard could outrun NVIDIA's legendary run-up, and the single milestone each must hit to rule the year. Welcome back to The Fortune Signal, your channel for clear, data-driven market insight without the hype. This video is for education only and is not financial advice. Let's unlock stock number one, Microsoft First. 60-plus Azure cloud regions, linked by high-speed private fiber, run thousands of NVIDIA H100s, AMD MI300Xs, and Microsoft's in-house Maya accelerators. Copilot add-ons lift Microsoft 365 revenue per user roughly 20%, according to Morgan Stanley. And GitHub Copilot crossed a $1 billion annual recurring revenue run rate while still growing triple digits. Azure now hosts large language model training for 53% of the Fortune 500, up from 15% two years ago. To stay ahead, Microsoft is intending to invest approximately $80 billion in AI-enabled data centers around the world. Wedbush Securities calls, the next 12 months an AI monetization tidal wave and models base case upside of 24%. Regulation is the wild card. The EU AI Act, effective mid-2024, classifies Copilot for healthcare and hiring as high risk, requiring model card transparency and potential fines up to 7% of global turnover. California's proposed CPRA expansion may push Microsoft to run medical Copilot on edge nodes. To blunt that drag, the company spends five-plus billion dollars a year on compliance and previewed a real-time AI usage dashboard at Ignite 2024, so customers can audit data lineage. Stay with me, stock number two just wrestled GPU contracts away from NVIDIA. That challenger is AMD. In Lisa Su's words, 2025 is the year of accelerated share capture. The spearhead is the MI300X accelerator, trains a 70 billion parameter model 35% faster than an equal cost NVIDIA H100 setup. AMD's data center segment booked $5.3 billion in Q3-25 revenue, up 122% year-over-year versus a $2.8 billion base last year. Gross margin on MI300 Silicon is running about 60%, only a few points below NVIDIA's latest print. Because AMD reserved extra production slots on TSMC's cutting-edge 3-nanometer line and prepaid for additional packaging capacity, the company dodged the older node congestion that slowed earlier Genoa chips. A new Arizona TSMC facility, now qualifying 3 nanometer wafers, gives AMD a credible made-in-America path for sensitive federal contracts. But there's a fresh hurdle. U.S. export controls, per BIS proposals, could block 3 nanometer GPU shipments to China by mid-2026, potentially cutting about $1 billion a year roughly 10 to 15% of AMD's current data center opportunity. Management says they can divert affected inventory to US and European clouds, but it's a risk worth tracking. Think AMD finally cleaves off Nvidia's moat? Type MI300X below so I can gauge sentiment. Wildcard time. A firm once dubbed the CIA's secret weapon is morphing into the operating system of enterprise AI, Palantir Technologies. Government contracts still anchor revenue, but the 2023 launch of AIP, Artificial Intelligence Platform, lets corporations run GPT-4, Llama 3, or Palantir's own ISIS models inside their secure data without exposing raw files. That matters when you're a hospital with HIPAA data or an automaker guarding key ID designs. Quarterly sales for Q2, 25, hit $895 million up 36% year over year. Net margin reached 17%, all self-funded. Palantir carries zero debt and holds over $3 billion in cash. From January 2023 to May 2025, the stock climbed roughly 360%. Dan Ives at Wedbush believes Palantir can sustain 30% CAGR through 2027, calling it the messy of AI. Competition is thickening. Google's Vertex AI search and Amazon's Bedrock 
both offer secure data plane inference, while Snowflake pitches private GPT inside data cloud. Regulators might probe Palantir's audit trail if a breach occurs, and the EU is exploring proposed per-use data sovereignty fees. Yet Palantir is one of the few vendors with FedRAMP high clearance and demonstrable Fortune 50 references. That dual trust layer lets them price at a premium. Gross margin is now in the mid-70s. Their land and expand strategy is working. NHS to HCA, Maersk to FedEx, DOD to NATO allies. Each template widens the moat. Wildcard poll. Will Palantir crack the S&P 500 top 50 market cap list by 2026? Share your thoughts in the comments. Step back and you'll see the AI economy is expanding faster than any tech cycle on record. McKinsey estimates enterprise AI alone could unlock half a trillion dollars in annual value by 2027. That pie is large enough for multiple winners. Microsoft captures the application layer. AMD claws at Silicon gross profit. Palantir monetizes high security decision intelligence. Three distinct business models converging on the same exponential curve. Nothing here is financial advice. This is the Fortune Signal's take on public filings, earnings calls, and analyst research. Do your own homework before you invest. If you got value, hit like so the algorithm shows this to other serious investors and ring the bell to catch every earnings call breakdown. Now your turn. Which of these three excites you most for 2025? Microsoft, AMD, or Palantir? Drop your pick and one dark horse ticker in the comments right now. The AI revolution is here. Make sure you're positioned to win big. And subscribe to our channel for high-quality research-driven content.